a NASA tycoon asserts that outsiders are presently living on Earth and implied that the space organization covertly work with outsider guests so as to propel their innovation. Robert Bigelow, an aviation business person who has of late worked with NASA, told a hour on Sunday that he is completely persuaded that outsiders have existed on Earth for quite a while. Day by Day Mail reports, the discussion concentrated on working with NASA before it moved to Mr. Bigelow's accounted for fixation on outsiders, as the big shot uncovered he has contributed millions into UFO investigate. Asked whether he had confidence in outsiders, Mr. Bigelow reacted, I'm completely persuaded. It's just as simple as that. There has been and is a current nearness, an ET nearness, on Earth. I burned through millions. I most likely spent more as a person than any other individual in the United States has ever spent regarding this matter, aliens. Mr. Bigelow did not determine precisely the amount he has spent on this examination, and declined to remark on any individual UFO experiences. Journalist Laura Logan, who was driving the meeting, at that point asked Mr. Bigelow whether he felt it was hazardous for him to state in broad daylight that he has faith in outsiders. She asked him whether he stressed that individuals may think he was insane. Mr. Bigelow reacted, I don't care the slightest bit. I couldn't care less. It's not going to have any kind of effect. It's not going to change the truth of what I know. At the point when asked whether he figured future human missions into space would bring about outsider experiences, he stated, you don't need to go anyplace. It's much the same as directly in front of people. The business person's remarks come as an amazement considering his organization has worked intimately with NASA before, which precludes any proof from securing outsiders. Last May, Bigelow Aerospace, an organization with NASA, swelled an expandable room on the International Space Station ISS, interestingly. NASA's initial endeavor to swell an extendable room on the International Space Station had fizzled the prior week because of a lot of grading. Be that as it may, their second endeavor was a win as NASA figured out how to extend and pressurize the extra room. The adaptable territory, known as the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, beam, completely broadened 1.7 meter, 5.6 feet. The development took after over seven hours amid which space explorer Jeff Williams discharged short impacts of air into the unit's dividers. After the development was finished, Mr. Williams opened a tear tanks inside beam, pressurizing the unit to a level near the space stations at around one environment. Completely extended, the module is 4 meters, 13 feet, long by 3.23 meters, 10.6 feet, wide. The expansion procedure might be better depicted as unfurling since it takes just a little measure of air to convey the case to full size. NASA representative, Daniel Hewitt, said at the time, an exceptionally effective day-to-day -day with the extension of the main expandable human evaluated natural surroundings to ever be flown into space. The development caused a popping sound much the same as that of popcorn as the structure gradually rounded out. Space travelers on load up the ISS are relied upon to re-enter the module a few times each year all through the two-year innovation exhibit. They will recover sensor information and survey conditions inside the unit, including how well it secures against space radiation. A unimaginable time-lapse of the occasion was uncovered by NASA demonstrating the space territory waking up. 